that freaking build up is insane like that is so freaking gross you guys see that like my hair is literally matted i literally put the in and neglect like why? <laughs> my hair shed it massively. What's up you guys? You are back with your girl, Iraq. And as you guys can see from the title already, you guys are gonna watch me take out my two month old braids. Yo, why do I keep doing this to myself? You guys are gonna see how much shedding I receive at the very end of the video. You guys are gonna see me detangle my hair. You guys are gonna see what I use to make my detangling process a wee bit better. You guys are gonna see the new growth that I received in two months, which is a little bit positive. <laughs> but basically you guys are gonna see everything that I I do to this hair to revive it back to life because literally my hair is like this much from being pronounced dead seriously you guys so if you guys are interested in this video don't forget to watch it all the way through like this video and comment the longest you guys have been without shampooing your hair be honest I'm being honest I'm being so transparent although I am kind of a little bit embarrassed you guys are gonna see when you guys see me take off this cap why I should be embarrassed okay but go ahead and comment that don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video wherever you share videos but let's go ahead and get into this mess right no. Yo, this is kind of cute though, right? Like, <laughs> can I walk around in public like this and still be cute? You know what I'm saying? Okay, but listen, you guys. Seriously though, hold on to your seats, okay? Because when I take this cap off, y'all gonna be like, girl, really? Having natural hair is so much hard work. And once I get my hair tacked down, I wear wigs like no tomorrow, like literally. Hope you got your snacks. Honestly, you may not want to be eating during this because <laughs> it's gonna get gross and it's gonna get dirty and it's gonna get nasty, okay? Sorry. Are you guys ready for this? You guys ready for this two month old braid reveal? Okay, brace yourself. Cause I'm gonna take this. Oh no, she did it. Ah! So this is my two month old hair. Let me go ahead and try to give you guys a quick 360 or a little 180 on both sides. Because this right here is like, uh-uh, sis. My hair is like crusty, feet dry. No, my hair is like, you know when your lips get chapped and they start to crack? My hair, <laughs> my hair is like chapped, lips dry. Like, ugh. As you guys can see, I have like single strand knots starting to form. So like, yo, I, I'm in for some work. <laughs> I'm in for some work. Okay, my scalp is super dry. Although my edges are looking all right. Like all this right here. Let me see if I get in focus. It's new growth. Because if you guys watch my um, seven day rice water challenge, my edges look so much worse than this. So let me just show you guys my hair really quick. Hope you guys can see like this hair grow. Let me turn this way. This is two months. My hair has, you know, a lot of buildup, a lot of dirt, and that's the part I am most terrified, honestly, to take down because that's going to be the hardest part, and I know I'm going to lose the, a lot of hair, like, right there. That freaking buildup is insane. Like, that is so freaking gross. I've been having that little piece stuck in my hair for literally probably like a month. First things first, we're going to start with just replenishing my hair with a little bit of moisture. So I'm going to be wetting my hair. Cause like my hair is super super dry and it's never a good idea to take down or do anything to your hair when it's super super dry so yo i have sat here and put got to be glued around my edges i have used styling gel so i already know like most of the buildup and most of the damage is going to occur around my edges make sure you guys comment down below like any tips and tricks i can use to regrow my edges back like ah the rice water is doing did amazing only did seven days worth of rice water but i am definitely interested in hearing what you guys have done to grow your edges so now we're gonna move on to coconut oil this is very very important because your hair is super dry and I'm going to start by putting some oil on the length of my hair just to start the takedown process. Hope you guys can see that. And we're gonna go ahead and start taking it down. Luckily, um, my niece didn't braid my hair all the way to the ends. 
so she left my ends out which I thank her so much for because you know like when your hair is braided to all the way to the ends it always like knots up and it just starts it starts to break honestly so from now on when I get my hair braided um, I won't be braiding my hair down all the way to the ends because no sis okay I already deal with enough breakage and I don't need any more yo surprisingly this is super easy like <laughs> I'm so surprised and I'm guessing it's the water with the oil that had added that moisture in that's making my hair easier to unravel. My curls honestly don't look that bad. Ah, oh, go sis. If you want to call these curls, I mean, <laughs> okay, so. So this part up here, this part that's low-key matted, like I said matted, yes, low-key matted. I'm going to go ahead and use <laughs> a total miracle. Oh, well, it's just Ozzy. It doesn't have to be the total miracle version. It could be, honestly, any Ozzy conditioner. I had to re-up, like literally, I love the Ozzy line. Even for my natural hair, I love the Ozzy line. It gives me amazing slip. I've raved about them in other hair videos. So, yeah. Um, this one is almost empty, so I totally re-up. Like I said, I really do love this product. And if you guys have tried it, you guys already know. And if you haven't, I suggest you guys go out and get it. Um, you can find that at Target, at Walmart, at majority of, like, the big stores. So, yes, I'm going to go in and just work that conditioner into the, the part that's kind of matted. <laughs> Just to soften that up. And then we're going to go ahead and try to work our fingers through it. Okay. I'm telling you, it's the slip that does it. It's the slip. Because on my dry hair, yo, I would be, no, having a WWE match with my freaking hair. And my hair would win. I'm like, seriously? Ah! I mean, of course you're going to have shedding. In two months. But we'll see, like, how much shedding. Like, you guys see how my comb is, like, gliding through my hair? I guarantee you, oil, a little bit of water, and some Aussie conditioner. Okay. Ooh. So, always, when you are combing out your hair, start from the bottom. And then work your way to the top. So, you always want to start with your ends. You guys see how defined my curls are though? Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, I can't stress enough how much I love the Aussie line. And this right here is on 4C hair, all right? If it do this to 4C hair, it can help anybody. <laughs> so, from that one braid, that's a small braid too. From this one braid, I got this much of shedding. Now here we go to the hard part. Okay, let's see. I put my Aussie Moist Conditioner on it. You guys see that? Yeah, you guys wanna see? Look at this. <laughs> that is so freaking gross. Yo, shame on you. Yo. So once again, we're gonna apply our water. I'm gonna have like the biggest ball of hair ever. So the most tangles that I have is right up here at the front of my head and 
Ooh, ooh. I feel like a dog. You know when a dog like wags his tail when he's getting scratched? That's how I feel right now. So as you guys can see, I have my hair detangled for the most part. I just want to show you guys really quick. Like, you guys see that right here? I know it's not even kind of focus, but that's that little clip that I have from the wig <laughs> that has been stuck in my hair for literally a freaking month. So I'm going to go ahead and try to like finally take it out. Like, yo, my hair has, whoa, it came out quick too a month <laughs> my hair has been through it but yay i did the first layer of detangling so right now i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick pre-pull so this is a pre-pull that i have i have all my goodies mixed in there and i will be applying this on my hair right now so there we go i have my pre-pull on my hair and i'm gonna wait probably like three hours so what's up you guys i am back i went ahead and rinsed out the pre-pull i shampooed and i conditioned my hair and this is what you have I will talk about how my hair feels in a second, but let's get into the shedding though, okay? Like, yo, my hair shedded massively. First, I'm gonna show you guys how much shedding I got from washing my hair in the shower. This is my second detangling. And my first detangling, whoa. You guys, make sure you comment and let me know. Is this an excessive amount of shedding? Both of these put together? This is an excessive amount of shedding, or do you think this is normal for like, two months <laughs> let me know in the comments down below but thank you guys so much for watching me take down my two month old braids i really really appreciate it make sure you guys do not be like me and take care of your hair but if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe to your girl channel also stay tuned because i will be doing a hair mask a protein treatment on my hair really really soon it's gonna be cardi b's hair mask so i'm gonna let you guys know if i think the hair mask is good or not so make sure you guys stay tuned for that so my hair is okay um it still needs something else so that's why i'm gonna do the cardi b's hair mask protein treatment basically on my hair so let me guys turn around so you guys can see like how it looks it's not horrible, but I know it could be better because it's missing that protein that it desperately, desperately needs. But that is it. If you guys are interested in seeing me, my 4C hair wash day routine, go ahead and click that video. If you guys are interested in seeing me do my seven day rice water treatment for extreme hair girls, make sure you check out that video and I will see you guys later. Peace.